Wing Chun, a traditional Chinese Kung Fu martial art that specializes in close range combat, a fighting system that requires neither great strength or great athletic ability. I'm your host Christy and follow me in this journey as we find out more about Wing Chun. So standing here with me today is Master David Peterson, owner of Wong Chun Leong Wing Chun Combat Science Center here in Seremban. Master David Peterson has been training in the Chinese martial arts since 1973. He became a student of Sifu Wong Chun Leong after traveling to Hong Kong in 1983. Master Peterson is one of the only two qualified instructors of Wong Chun Leong's system in Australia, authorized by Sifu Wong himself. He is also a fully endorsed member of the worldwide Wong Chun Leong Wing Chun Martial Arts Association and the Hong Kong based Wing Chun Athletic Association. Wing Chun is a close quarters combat system that was developed, we believe, in southern China, somewhere between Fujian province and Guangdong province. The most recent history that we can confirm is there was a practitioner called Liang Zhan who lived in Fatsan or Foshan in southern China, in just outside of Guangzhou rather. And he taught a student called Chan Hua Sun, who was also known as Zhao Tianhua, or the money changer. And Zhao Tianhua taught Yip Man. Yip Man, of course, made Wing Chun famous because he brought it to the public eye by becoming a refugee and coming to Hong Kong in 1949. And he taught my teacher, Wong Sen Leung, and I managed to learn in the 80s from Wong Sen Leung. Basically, Wing Chun is designed to fight at very close range. Uh, Grandmaster Yip Man himself described it as a close body, uh, short range fighting system. And he also described it as being soft and sticky, which means that we try to use a relaxed state of, of uh, musculature so that we can deal with incoming energy by absorbing it and redirecting it. We do fight and can fight at longer range, but the ideal situation for Wing Chun fighters is to get in very, very close. The Wing Chun system is based around a set of principles or concepts, uh, the main ones being the center line theory, which suggests the shortest distance between me and my opponent is always a straight line. So if I make good use of center line theory, my technique should always be faster and therefore more efficient than my opponent's. If I always attack my opponent's center of mass, which is an extension of center line theory, it means that I should be able to do more damage with less effort because I'm hitting in a way that you have to take a lot more punishment from whatever I strike you with. And if I utilize the center line theory in the way that I attack you, I'm also protecting my own center of mass from the bulk of your attacks. So that the center line is probably the most important theory in Wing Chun. It's Master David's sole aim to pass on the skills, knowledge and understanding of Wing Chun exactly as Sifu Wong taught them to him. Uh 我覺得永春對於我們女子呢,一個比較適合我們的,就是適合我們年紀啦,因為我們粗粗粗重啊,有問題啊,合作比如我們對於我們身體都是健康咯。Honestly, Wing Chun is very straightforward. So somehow in in lives it, it teach me to be very straightforward in doing whatever that I I've been doing my work, my jobs, everything. So it's kind of like a positive effect on me. I'm very proud of the school because I've tried to make it both a good place to train, a comfortable and, and welcoming place to train, but also something of a tribute to my Sifu as well. 
uh, just to make sure that his memory and his legacy is not forgotten. Most people want to move the body a lot when they throw punches. You've got to change that because we want to specialise in keeping the body mostly still. They want to turn side onto their opponent. We want to face. They want to keep a distance from their opponent. We deliberately want to get in close. Every time you look at Wing Chun and compare it to other fighting systems, it seems to contradict what they do. And in most cases it does because it has a different approach both mentally and physically to other martial arts. I think Wing Chun is doing better outside of China and Hong Kong than it's doing in China and Hong Kong because the Chinese themselves don't seem to appreciate something quite special like Wing Chun is as much as those outside. And I think Chinese martial arts generally are dying within Chinese culture. And Chinese martial arts are seen as a thing of the past, not worthwhile. There's a lingering attitude amongst the Chinese that martial arts is something that people without a job or no real life, they spend their time doing martial arts or gangsters and criminals. That it's not what real people do. You know, professional people aren't involved in that. In the West, they regard Chinese martial arts as a cultural heritage, as a treasure, and they take it very, very seriously. So as a result, I think Wing Chun is probably better known and more widely practiced outside of the Hong Kong and the Chinese areas than it is in uh, China itself. So we are living in a, such a place where super comfort, where we, we rely on something. We rely on the police, we rely on the government to protect us. And we also rely on money, where we don't really need to go fight. It wasn't invented overnight. It wasn't put together in one generation. A lot of people and a lot of time and a lot of effort have gone into the making of Wing Chun. And my own Sifu and his Sifu, Yip Man and Wong Sinun, their efforts clearly is two lifetimes that they've contributed to where Wing Chun is. A martial art that was put together by legends and it's still being taught till the very today. I hope you have learned about Wing Chun as much as I did throughout this journey. I'm your host Christy and thanks for watching.